Hi everybody and welcome back to another video by me, Player of Life. Today we're going to go through a very quick video on a new EDC pen I bought. I've been wanting to buy this pen for a while and I decided to take the plunge there. Uh, in front of you here we have the Fisher Space Pen. Now this is the actual, uh, the bullet pen. And the one I got here is the matte black, but we'll just have a quick look around the packaging at the moment. So we've got a very nice picture of the uh, the moon there, the moon landing and the American flag. Okay, on the left hand side we only have the just the description of it, okay. Around the other side we have, again, description of it. And on this end here we actually have the product number. This is hashtag 400B. It's the black matte and there's the code there for you. So you can you can pause that if you want to and uh, have a look at it online. I got this on eBay and I think it cost 22 euros including delivery. So around about, I think, 18.50, something like that. Okay, just a, a quick look around the back of it here. Now this goes through a quick history of uh, the Fisher Space Pen. We all know it was, it was designed uh, so the astronauts uh, in NASA could use it in space. So you know, it's, it's got this pressurized ink cartridge system. Now I'm not really gonna go through the, you know, all the specs about the pressurized system and stuff like that. I just wanna go through the aesthetics of it, how it looks, how it feels and how it writes. And for me, that's the most important thing. The history is fine, but we'll just have a quick look at it. Okay, so we'll, um, just jump into a very quick unboxing there. Okay, so we'll just do a, a few quick dimensions of the box here. Okay, uh, lengthwise it comes in at what's that, 11 and a half centimeters, which is just under four and a half inches. Okay, widthwise it's four and a half centimeters, which is uh, one and three quarter inches. And depthwise it's uh, just over an inch there and just about 28 uh, centimeters, I'd say, in width. Okay, so we'll just uh, pop into a quick unboxing now. Now I have this a couple of days and um, I've been I've been using it for a couple of days. I'm going to give you my quick thoughts on it and stuff like that. Okay, so we'll uh, just pop that out there now. Okay, so when you open the actual box, you get this um, small little plastic container. Now it's going to be similar dimensions to the box there. And if we just have a quick look around here, it's um, just plastic. It's actually very well presented. Actually, it's got a small hinge here on the back. Okay. Um, on the other side of it there, it just has a, a quick logo of an astronaut there with a Fisher Space Pen logo down the bottom. Okay, and if I twist around this way, you can actually see the uh, Fisher Space Pen logo on the top left hand corner here and the actual pen itself. Now, I can't really kind of stress enough how small this pen actually is. When I opened it up, I couldn't realize, I didn't realize how small it actually was. But we'll have a quick look at it anyway. So basically it's just a, a plastic kind of click open. Okay, so inside here we actually have the uh, pen itself. Now it's actually kind of mounted inside a bit of, um, it's like kind of a foam or something, which is meant to represent, uh, I think, moon rock or something like that, or something on the moon. And the actual pen itself, now the one I went for was the black uh, matte pen. And I didn't bother going with a, a clip for my pocket clip because um, this is just gonna be thrown in the bottom of my, um, either my EDC organizer, my micro organizer, or else it's just gonna go in the pocket of my trousers. Uh, left or right from pocket there, just beside the torch. And the reason I went for matte black is I just like most things kind of black and silver type of stuff. Okay, so um, we'll just leave the package to the side for one second and we'll actually focus on the actual pen. Now, just to give you a comparison in size, if I just pop the tape over, okay. When it's actually um, fully closed, okay, the actual pen comes in at what, nine centimeters, which is what, three and a half inches. Okay, and uh, basically it's um, extremely small and very, very uh, enjoyable to hold actually. Now just to give you an idea as a size comparison, okay, there's the pen, there's a standard USB kind of stick, there's a AA battery, okay, and you can see that there's not much of a difference really. Um, that's how small it is. It's it's actually it's actually a very neat little package. Okay, so um, the actual pen itself, uh, it's got a fantastic finish on it. Lovely, smooth, um, very well made finish. Now I, I think it's actually made of either <coughs> it's either aluminium, okay, or aluminium, depending on where you are, okay, or it's kind of metal. Now the actual pen itself, okay, um, comes apart into two pieces. So we just pull it apart there. Pop it back in, and now all of a sudden we have a full length uh, pen. So if I just stick on the, the tape there, okay, so that's coming in at just under, what, 13, just 13 and a half centimeters, which is about five and a quarter inches. 
Now, as I say, the aesthetics of this pen, to hold this pen, okay, is, is, is it's, it's brilliant. Like, it's extremely comfortable to hold. It's very light, so it is. Um, the little rubber seal, it's like a little rubber gasket that goes around the middle here. Okay, when you actually hold the pen, my finger mount just sits on that. And that's very, very comfortable to hold. There's no weight at all in this, guys. Nothing at all. But again, the aesthetics of it are, 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 are beautiful. You know, the, the materials that it's made of. I can't emphasize enough how good the engineering is. Now, as I say, it's a it's a ballpoint pen, so you know if anybody likes gel pens or fountain pens, this may not it may not be for you. But um, we'll just get a, a little bit of paper here now and um, have a quick look at what it's writing. I like writing on my. Um, I love uh, the mole skin notebooks. Okay, I think they're the paper in them is fantastic. I think it takes ink very well. Not only does it take. Uh, a ballpoint pen but it takes fountain pen and also takes a uh, ink gel pen very well so you know no, nobody's going to really enjoy me watching writing but here we go anyway so we'll just do Okay, and if I do it, just put the pen on straight across, pen on straight across. If you notice here, there's actually a bit of an ink spill there, okay, and there's none here. Now, I bought this pen because I thought it would take away the ink spills. You have to continuously keep writing with this pen, otherwise what's going to happen is if I leave it for a second and I put it back down again, there's a slight ink spill just there. Now, it's a it's very, very small, very picky little thing, but uh, it's notice noticeable to me. Okay, if I'm doing light pressure on it, so just basically holding it with just across fabulous very good okay if i just start to do circles or squares or whatever it might be it writes it writes lovely okay um i was going to do a quick test of this underwater but um i don't think it kind of warrants a test underwater to be honest which we all know what it, what it does and what it's like well guys listen thank you very much for uh, watching my video and uh, <clears throat> please don't forget to like share and subscribe and look forward to more videos in the next coming days so until then, guys, have a great day and uh, take care. Bye.